This is Delta Digit and this time I am going to teach you how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy A5 to the latest version that is 5.0.2 Lollipop. This time my device is SMA500H and I am rocking 4.4.4 KitKat. The original official Lollipop hasn't been launched in Nepal and any other regions except Russia so I have downloaded the Russian version but that matches my firmware. Nothing will be void, nothing will be destroyed as long as you have the right version of firmware according to your version that is in my case a 500 h so just download the version of the firmware that matches your model number please be very much careful in that for that first you have to turn off your mobile and then open odin mode and then you will start the firmware upgrading process you don't have to worry about the application nothing will be gone just your firmware will be upgraded for that after turning off power you should press home button power button and volume down button at the same time and the odin mode will start then you will have to press the volume up button and a screen will come then you will have to connect your usb cable just like this and after that you will have to go to your computer and start odin by giving it admin privileges then you should select the format that you have downloaded which I have downloaded from Sam Mobile and I will give the description below you can select from that and you can search from there then download it after selecting the format it will take some time to load but after that you will have to press on start then everything will be done just for information you have to click on AP to select the format downloaded after clicking start it will take around 5 or 10 minutes to upgrade your firmware then it will show a green button saying pass and your mobile will go to restart it will take about 5 to 10 minutes this time because it has been the first time after the firmware upgrade so it will take some time to optimize your applications erasing some things after that you will see we will be rocking 5.0 into lollipop you have seen that it has got minor upgrades minor features and new features also the first thing is the new touch with ux this is really great the notification bar has gone transparent and it is pretty responsive a new mode like a do not disturb mode has been found which was not in the 4.4.4 kitkat version now you can you just saw that the brightness option also goes transparent and other things just go back you can see the upper bar takes the color of the menu or the application that we are running and now you can see that I am running official 5.0.2 lollipop in this one you will not void your warranty while flashing this form flashing any firmware from Sam mobile because they are officially signed from Samsung so you don't have to worry just one problem I found was that you cannot degrade or you cannot roll back to your older version I just don't know that I made a mistake or it can be done and I found that theme option in the menu setting menu it wasn't in the previous one and a mirror link option in these settings which wasn't also in the previous one now in the data option everything seems so good so everything is neat the materialistic design is really good and in Wi-Fi we got a new mode it was it wasn't in the older one it is Samsung smart network switch but this time there is a new feature that can select between 2.4 gigas and 5 gigas band to maintain a stable internet connection and it was that wasn't in the previous one so yes and the new CR Wi-Fi profile is also a new feature in this the responsiveness is really good and we also found a small a bit of upgrade in camera the shutter speed has been increased now you can see the top bar also takes the red color as the YouTube application is red and this gives a pretty good look pretty nice look in play store you get blue green everything color as the application takes so this gives a good uh, experience after the lollipop version after the kitkat version sorry the i didn't found any lag or any problem in browsing anything no no hang no sticking problem no nothing so i found that the lollipop version is really good because 
the memory taken was very less in the KitKat version it was taking around 1.2 GB at minimum but this time it is only taking 1 GB of RAM at minimum so I got really good empty memory and the device so very much good responsiveness now you can see that the Samsung has added the new TouchWiz UX and trimmed the TouchWiz UI little bit and you can see the new dial pad, new color options everything is really good everything is responsive and I also get the emergency calling mode in the pin lock display so you can call at your emergency numbers with the when you, even you don't have the privilege so if you like my video thanks guys please like subscribe and share so see you soon